Question 14c, part 1. For vector v, show that the dot product of vector v and vector v is equal to the square of the magnitude of vector v. The dot product of vector v and vector v is equal to the magnitude of vector v multiplied by the magnitude of vector v multiplied by cos theta, where theta is the non-reflex angle between the two vectors. Now since vector v is parallel with vector v, theta is equal to 0, hence cos of 0 equals 1. Therefore, the dot product of vector v and vector v is equal to the magnitude of vector v multiplied by the magnitude of vector v multiplied by 1, which equals to the magnitude of vector v squared as required. Part 2. In the trapezium ABCD, BC is parallel to AD, and the magnitude of vector AC is equal to the magnitude of vector BD. Let vector A equal vector AB, vector B equal vector BC, and vector AD equal K multiplied by vector BC, where K is greater than 0. Using part 1 or otherwise, show that 2 times the dot product of vector A and vector B plus 1 minus k multiplied by the square of the magnitude of vector b equals 0. From the diagram, vector ac is equal to vector a plus vector b, where vector ac is one of the diagonals of the trapezium, expressed in terms of the sum of vector a and vector b, where vector a is the left-hand side of the trapezium and vector b is the top of the trapezium. And vector bd is equal to k times vector b minus vector a, where BD is the other diagonal of the trapezium, expressed in terms of the difference between K times vector B, which is the base of the trapezium, and vector A, which is the left-hand side of the trapezium. It is given that the magnitude of vector AC is equal to the magnitude of vector BD. In other words, the two diagonals of the trapezium are equal in length. Squaring both sides of the equation, we have the square of the magnitude of vector AC is equal to the square of the magnitude of vector BD. From part 1, the square of the magnitude of vector AC is equal to the dot product of vector AC and vector AC, and the square of the magnitude of vector BD is equal to the dot product of vector BD and vector BD. Hence, the dot product of vector AC and vector AC is equal to the dot product of vector BD and vector BD. And from this equation, we can form an alternative equation using the lowercase notation. So vector AC is vector A plus vector B, and vector BD is K times vector B minus vector A. So we have the dot product of vector A plus vector B and vector A plus vector B is equal to the dot product of K times vector B minus vector A and K times vector B minus vector A. Expanding the brackets, we have this equation. And you can see that the dot product of vector A and vector A appears on the left hand side and on the right hand side. And that can be cancelled. And the terms on the right hand side, so that's the k squared times the dot product of vector b and vector b, and the minus 2k times the dot product of vector a and vector b can be moved over to the left hand side, so we end up with 0 on the right hand side. Now the left hand side can be factorised by grouping in pairs. So these two terms, we can take out 2 times the dot product of vector A and vector B. And for these two terms, we can take out a common factor of the dot product of vector B and vector B. So we have 2 times the dot product of vector A and vector B times 1 plus K, plus the dot product of vector B and vector B times 1 minus K squared equals 0. And notice here we have a difference of two squares. So we're able to form this equation here, so expanding the difference of two squares. Now we can divide all terms by 1 plus k since k is greater than 0, so there's not going to be any division by 0. So in other words, these terms will disappear. And we end up with 2 times the dot product of vector a and vector b plus 1 minus k in brackets times the magnitude or the square of the magnitude of vector b is equal to 0 as required since the dot product of vector b and vector b is equal to the square of the magnitude of vector b from part 1.